Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to a new day. So uh, today I went to the monthly food pantry. We have two monthly food pantries. Um, we have this one today and then there's another one next week. So uh, today I'll have a food pantry haul. And uh, I'm outside right now, as you can see by the trees. I'm outside. So <laughs> um, I actually just got done bringing all of Glenn's RC stuff from the house to the garage. So when he's ready to come out, all he has to do is organize it. Um, I just bring it out. I don't put it anywhere. I just put it so he can get to it and he can organize it. Otherwise, I'll lose stuff. <laughs> um, but I am just enjoying being outside. It was uh, 68 degrees today, and uh, it's starting to cool off a little bit. It's, I don't know what time it is. It's mid-afternoon, later afternoon, maybe almost 4 o'clock. But uh, anyway, <laughs> I went and ran a couple errands today. I went to the food pantry, went to the mailbox, so I will have some friend mail for you today. I got some wonderful gifts, um, wonderful cards and gifts. It, it's... It still amazes me that you guys think of me and send me letters and cards and, and gifts and it just, I can't even express my appreciation enough. So, but thank you all so much. Um, so yeah, I'll show you what we received. And then I went to the bakery shop, got some uh, rolls for our sloppy joes tonight we didn't have them last night we were going to have sloppy joes last night we actually didn't even have a supper last night i'm watching the birds <laughs> distracted by birds but um yeah we had a late lunch which we ate the leftover spanish rice and then i had a couple hard boiled eggs and but that was pretty late in the afternoon it was like four o'clock by the time we actually ate because we spoke to glenn's sister on the phone and that was like almost three hours I think um, but then we ate lunch uh, Glenn and I watched a movie on Amazon Prime and then uh, yeah he slept up oh just a minute Glenn's calling okay sorry guys uh, yeah Glenn called me on the radio uh, he's in the house so we always uh, carry our two-way radios when I come outside so that way uh, we can communicate faster rather than text and call so, yeah, he was just calling me. Uh, yeah, so anyway, what was I talking about? I have no idea. Oh, um, yeah, so I'll have the food pantry haul for you, uh, friend mail. Uh, I went to the bakery store uh, to get rolls for our Sloppy Joe's tonight. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. We didn't even eat supper last night um, because we ate such a late lunch. And then we watched a movie, we napped. <laughs> We both fell asleep in our chairs in the living room like old people <laughs> uh, but and then later on we we had some uh, rolls that we bought Friday or Saturday Saturday maybe and we had like four left so we just I uh, just threw some butter on there put them in the oven and had some toasted buttery rolls and we finished off all the rolls so they got eaten and it was good and it, it was enough to um, you know, that we were good for the night. We didn't need a, uh, actual meal or anything. So, so yeah, I'm watching, uh, a, a white crowned sparrow. They come in the fall, in the springtime. They look, their bodies look like a sparrow, but their heads are white and black stripes across. So that's called a white crowned sparrow, but I, they're sh showing up now. So yeah. Lots of bird things to do. I'm fi uh, that's what I'm working on right now. I got all Glenn's RC stuff out right now. So now I'm working on uh, one of my bird feeders because I do have to get it back out in that bird stand that they tore apart last year. I don't know if it was the deer that knocked them over, but something knocked them over and broke one of them. So I'm trying to salvage another one and change it up a little bit to put the screen on there. I'll show you what I'm doing there. So... So anyway, uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm in the garage right now, outside, enjoying the weather. But tomorrow it's supposed to drop 8 to 10 degrees and barely reach 60 degrees tomorrow. And we're supposed to have thunderstorms later on today, all through pretty much the rest of the night. And then uh, tomorrow is supposed to be a little cooler. 
that's why Glenn isn't coming out today because for those of you that have a hard time getting around, have pain in your legs, your back, no, it's an ordeal to work yourself up to taking that first walk outside, if you can even get outside. Um, so it's very hard for Glenn, so he's kind of just building up to it. Uh, we are supposed to see 70 degrees on Thursday and Friday, maybe. So it's a good possibility he might come out at that time. Our, our weather's weird this year. Um, yeah, after a couple of degree days of 70s, 60s, um, we're supposed to go back down to the 50s. I, I just can't believe the weather this year. So, uh, yeah, I'll show you what I'm working on. And then, uh, yeah, that's all I got right now. Okay, so I'm working on this bird feeder. This, uh, of course, is a platform feeder. I didn't hardly ever use this one because of the the bottom here. It's it's all wood. I can still use the sides, but this wood there's no holes in it. So when it rains, um, the water and the the moisture just really gathers in there and just soaks up all the food, and the food just gets runchy. So I don't hardly ever use this one. So. I had a second one that had this bottom screen. This was the bottom of the feeder. And so it's perfect because there's holes all over, the water just goes through. So what I'm gonna do, and this is part of the feeder that they got destroyed at the end of the last season, last summer season. Um, all the wood came off, it was just bad. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this one apart, use all the side wood, and put it on this one and yeah so that's what I'm working on right now all right everyone so I put this uh, platform together now and it's got the screen on the bottom there so when it rains the water can just go through um, it's not to say the the food will stay dry and and all that you still have to change it um, just check it to make sure it's not getting moldy, but um, our birds eat the food fast enough or it's not going to last anyway. So, so yeah, I got that back together and I actually put an L bracket on there on the bottom. So last year when I had this up, I didn't have anything to really keep it up. Uh, against the 4x4 four four. and I just put a stick on the bottom but it always blew off it wasn't like attached to it or anything so I was trying to think of what I could put on there to keep it stabilized up there so I took the L bracket and yeah it's a it's a little big but we had it around for a long time already and we weren't using it so I figured well why don't I try the L bracket so uh, I put one of the screws right through the L bracket into the the screen and into the wood. So, and the reason I'm not really concerned with uh, stabilizing the back bracket more than that one screw is because this is just going to be birds on here. It's not like something heavy is going to be on there. So, so yeah, I got that. And then here's the part that's going to attach to the four by four. So. Oh. So you can see the holes right there that'll get screwed into the 4x4 four four and it'll sit just like this. So that should be good enough. Until, if it doesn't work, then I'll, I'll figure something else out. Yeah, if it doesn't work, I'll figure something else out. Um, this moves just because I only have one screw in there. Um, maybe I can get a, like a, a nut and bolt and put it through here so this stays stabilized as well and but yeah so that's what I got right now so tomorrow I'll maybe tomorrow I'll put that up um yeah so yeah that's what I'm thinking so yeah that's done and let me show you another project I have to do so oops, this is Glenn's step that helps him get in the truck and his brother-in-law made this like uh, years ago. His brother-in-law passed uh, several years ago already. But he made this for Glenn. And what I need to do 
is I need a, bra a piece right here, a stabilizer right here, because when he steps on it in the middle, I'm, uh, we're afraid this middle piece sometimes is just going to break and his foot's going to go right through that. So I'm thinking is we have this piece of wood here. I'll have to cut it down. I don't have a machine, so I'll have to hand saw it. But I'm thinking to cut it down and bring it out to the edge here and just screw it in there so that stabilizes the middle. And I might do another piece for the bottom step, but the big step is uh, this big part right here is what we're concerned about. So we definitely don't want his foot going right through that. So that's another project that I'll have to do. So yeah, I got plenty to do. Okay, so got the bird feeder done, showed you the other project I got to do with the step. Um, I'm probably not going to do that today because it's already like 5 o'clock, so I'm going to probably head in the house, start making supper. Um, but yeah, stuff to do. And yeah, there's plenty to do around here to keep me busy. Um, and to be quite honest with the gas prices, um, I don't see us taking a lot of uh, like country drives or anything. Um, as far as camping trips, we have two camping trips that we don't have to pay for. They're already on our account. They were trips that we canceled last year. And so we can reschedule them for this year. We don't have anything scheduled for spring yet. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure how many times we'll go camping besides those two free ones. Well, they're not free. We, we paid for them last year. Um, but a couple of fishing trips maybe, but yeah, there's, it's not going to be a lot of driving around this year with these gas prices, um, as it is right now, um, what I do so I don't use that much gas in the truck because our truck is a gas hog. And so what I do is like any Etsy orders I have to ship out, I usually put in our mailbox so that I don't have to drive to the post office. And like today, I knew I was gonna go to the food pantry and that's downtown. And so if I know I'm gonna go, I have to go somewhere one day, I try to plan all my errands that day so I don't have to keep driving around. So I went to the food pantry and the post office is just a couple blocks away. So I figured, well, if I'm going to the food pantry, I'll wait to go to the post office until that day, which is today. And then if I had any other errands to do, I would plan it on that day too. That way I'm not driving every day to go do this or that and using gas every day. So yeah, try not to use, uh, I'm trying not to drive around any more than I have to, to run errands. And if I need groceries, I'll, I'll order them at Walmart have them delivered since we have that service paid for for the entire year. And if I can't get it at Walmart, then pick and save slash Kroger um, is about five minutes away maybe. Um, so yeah, so yeah, just I just try to plan all the driving for one day, just trying to save on gas. And that's gonna be the way it is this summer, just saving on gas <laughs> so it, as it is the truck's a gas hog and with last last summer's prices it took anywhere from 60 to 75 dollars to fill it up now with these prices um yeah we're looking at even more so so yeah there's not going to be a lot of country drives or anything like that any fishing will you know will have to plan when we go fishing and where we're going to go and plan for that gas. But times are changing and, and that's what we have to do now. So, all right, I'm going to head in. I'm going to get the garage all closed up, head in, and uh, probably start making supper. Uh, again, I'll have the food pantry haul for you and the friend mail. So stay tuned.
All right, everyone. So here is the food pantry haul for today. This is a one of the one of two monthlies. So I'll just go over everything. Again, everything is a blessing, uh, especially with the food prices today, that we can get this food. So we did get two pounds of ground beef. We got a four pack of uh, pork chops, boneless. And usually what I do with these is I pound them out uh, with a meat tenderizer. And I just pound them until they're thin and they kind of just stretch out. I'll either coat them with flour and fry them up. Or you can uh, pound them, which basically tenderize them, and throw them on the grill and have a pork chop uh, sandwich on a roll or hamburger bun, whatever you like. Got some Italian ground Italian sausage. We got a tube of ham, and I'll usually just uh, slice thin, slice this, just do slices, and then uh, freeze them separately, all in separate packages and use them for breakfast or for casseroles or whatever. Got a bag of uh, elbow macaroni. Um, can make homemade macaroni and cheese. Most of the time what I use elbow macaronis for, uh, supper salad. I've done a couple of videos on that, so I'll leave a, a link in the description below if you wanna see the video on a supper salad using elbow macaroni. Got a big bag of uh, pistachios, two pounds. We got a couple of these Nors. This is uh, Parmesan. And this one is Spanish rice. So those Nors are pretty good as side dishes for meals. Got a box of uh, chicken flavor noodle Lipton. These are the kind with packages in them. Got a pack of uh, sun-made raisins. A big can of Dinty More beef stew. Uh, Dinty More beef stew. Uh, if you've ever tried it, like uh, warm it up and pour it over like white rice or something, it tastes pretty good that way. A can of Progresso broccoli cheese and bacon. Uh, a bottle of vegetable oil. I've never heard of uh, peanut butter checks, but we'll give them a taste. And uh, two boxes of these do -si do Girl Scout cookies. So that is our food pantry. Again, this is one of two monthly pantries that we go to. And next, I'll show you the friend mail we received. Oh, yeah, I forgot to include this in the food pantry haul. I had it in the refrigerator, forgot to take it out. We got all this cheese. We got a shredded pizza blend, Mexican three cheese, mozzarella, and a block of cheese. All right, everyone. So here is friend mail. I uh, want to share. So... Everything here came from a couple different people. Uh, one person does not want to be uh, recognized on the video, uh, doesn't want the name put out on YouTube, and that's fine. Uh, we've already messaged, and I thanked her, but I'll go through everything here. So I uh, got some uh, coupons and some tea, more tea bags, and this is a uh, Southern... Southern Breeze Mango Cold Brew. Yeah, so I wonder how that tastes. So I'm going to try that one. That's for a, a cold tea. So I'm going to try that one. And these are those ones that uh, help you sleep. So got some more of those. And also got some coupons. And this all came from Kathy. Uh, thank you so much, Kathy, for thinking of us. Uh, she sent some coupons for Sriracha uh, because Glenn likes the hot stuff. So, and it says redeemable at Whole Foods and Sprouts. So I'm not sure, uh, maybe you can let me know, Kathy, if I can use the coupon at Walmart. I'm not sure about that. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll try, to, try to use it and see if Glenn likes that Sriracha sauce. So thank you so much. And she also sent other coupons here. And along with the tea. So thank you so much, Kathy. And I got this uh, pack of... Uh, it's instant yeast. But I don't know who it came from. Now, Kathy, you mentioned that I was going to get free samples. Um, that you set me up for some free samples. And I don't know if this is one of them because there's no other name on there. It just came from this address. 
and that's all there was in there there was no I don't think I missed a note in there but that's all that came with it so and I don't know if it's hard from um, cold weather through uh, travels um, but it is quite hard like a rock so but yeah we'll see if that gets soft but if if this was one of the free samples Kathy let me know and if it's not if you're somebody out there uh, sent it to me uh, please drop it down in the comments so all right thank you so much Kathy for all of this and then I got two Easter cards one from Barb and one from Donna so thank you so much Barb and Donna uh, Barb also sent uh, $40 and she said put it towards the grill I was talking about a, a, a grill a flat top grill to get for outside but I haven't purchased it and I don't know if I'm going to but she said if you if you change your mind about the grill uh, get some steaks on me so thank you so much Barb that's thoughtful um, all of this is thoughtful so and this is from Donna cute Easter cards so thank you so much Barb and Donna all right so the last one here is a set of containers for the kitchen I'll just get close up on the picture or on the picture so you can see what they are there and I'll open them up and uh, kind of unstack them for you so you can see but the funny thing is that <laughs> I talked about this in one of my videos and this person uh, decided to get me some um, that wasn't the funny thing but the funny thing was I actually had these exact containers in my Amazon cart but never purchased them and here they are so so let me uh, break them down for you I'm just gonna shut the video off so I can break them down for you all right everyone so here are the containers uh, I opened it up and uh, broke them all down so there's three of them and they come with these really <laughs> good lids um so yeah there's three of those and it comes with these uh labels i don't know if those are kind of like uh, chalk labels but there's a, a pen or chalk that you can uh, relabel them with so you can actually change the labels and it also came with uh, three measuring cups so i think uh, i saw that these were a cup each and the containers are 4.7 quarts each. Uh, if you go by liters, I think it uh, said it was 5.2 liters each. So yeah, that's that's really wonderful. Thank you so much for sending me these. I'm definitely gonna put used to them. Uh, definitely one's gonna be flour, one's gonna be sugar, and one's gonna be, I'm not sure yet. <laughs> it's either gonna be um, rice. I'll fill it up with rice or powdered sugar or brown sugar I'm not sure I think I use powdered sugar the most so that may be powdered sugar unless I find something else but yeah I probably would like to get more of these so now that I see um, just the, the good size of them I'll probably order some as well to match these and have all the same size so Thank you so much. I really appreciate all the gifts and the cards. It still, it still amazes me that you guys think of us to send us letters and cards and everything that you send us. We really appreciate it. So thank you all so much. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch it. I appreciate all of you. And with that, remember to live life, be good to yourself, and be good to others. Until next time.